Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I am doing this highly requested red eyeshadow makeup tutorial. I posted this on my Instagram a little while ago and I uh, got lots of requests. So, if you want to see how to get the look, then stay tuned. I've already got my eyebrows on because, you know, I've been doing a lot of brows in my videos lately. And I'm going to go in with my Gleam by Melanie Mill Peach Deluxe Body Radiance, which has been restocked for the final time. It's limited edition, so if you want to get your hands on some, I would do so. It's your last chance, and you can use code SANDRA for it, 20% off. Next, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Golden Amber Foundation Stick, and I'm going to do little swirlies all over my face. Um, I think this is a really beautiful foundation, but at first when I was putting this on, I kind of thought it looked a little bit yellow. I think because last time I used it in a video, I mixed Golden Amber and Warm Almond together, and uh, it was a little bit more neutral, but it does lay really nice. I don't wear it all the time because I think I'm slightly allergic to it, but it's so darn beautiful. Anyways, next I'm going to go in with the Studio Finish Concealer and NW25. Um, I'm going to blend underneath my eyes just to highlight a little bit in color correct. And this is more warm, so it did add warmth to the kind of yellowy tone of the foundation I used. Next with the Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline, this highlighter is poppin'. I'm going to go on the very highest points of my face. So right on top of the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, on top of my top lip, you know, the drill. This is a really great affordable highlighter. I'm loving this uh, drugstore brand stepping their game up. Next with my Morphe M551 brush, the same one I use to highlight, I'm going to go into my Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC and I am going to warm up my skin tone and do a nice little contour. So pushing most of the product into the hollows of my cheeks and then blending it around onto my neck and across my cheeks to just carry a soft amount of warmth and color to my cheekbones. I like this because it's diverse in how I use it. It bronzes, contours, adds some warmth. Next with my Morphe M516 brush, I'm going to snatch up the nose. And this is my Pro Fusion Bronze uh, by Makeup Forever in the color 30M. I like it because it reflects light the same way skin does, so it's a contour that moves with you. So going along from underneath my brow and snatching right up until the tip of my nose. And I also like to bronze just underneath my nose by my nostrils because my nose is very turned up. Giving it a nice blend and I'm going to use the same product, Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to warm up my crease and this is just usually how I kind of start my or finish up my con my contour process. This is also going to give a little bit of something for the red to blend into so it's not just a harsh line. Next I'm going to go into the Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paints in the red and the orange so M72 and M70 so this is the M72 and I'm going to take my Morphe M422 brush which is kind of a fluffy brush and I'm going to put my base or my shape on with the red paint and I'm using this brush because I want it to kind of have like a feathery like fluffed kind of look and I like this because I can just kind of wisp on a small amount before I really commit to putting in my shape and I can make it look nice and almost airbrushed so I'm winging it out on the outer edges and slowly dragging it underneath my eye and I'm flipping the brush on its side just so that it has kind of a side that will blend and one side that will apply color and then once I've got my shape in I'm going to go in and add on some more of that paint just so it's a little bit more vibrant. So this product it does blend really well it can get a little sticky if you let it dry too much so I'm using my finger to help blend it but all in all like the color payoff is popping it's waterproof it's fire and I'm excited to play with these a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and I'm dragging a small amount underneath my lash line I'm kind of using the shape of just my eyelid later on I add more because I realize it wasn't giving me my whole life but anyways I'm using my eyelid as my guideline 
and I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used to contour the crease a little bit and I'm just giving it a little blend so it diffuses the edges a little bit and it's nice and smooth. Next with the M70, the orange uh, Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint, I'm going to blend that with the same brush over top of the red right on the lid. I'm not gonna wing it out the same way because I wanted this to look more of like a red eyeshadow um but it just kind of makes it look like a neon corally red really bright in your face type of look so I'm buffing that right on top I'm doing little tapping motions so I can lay the paint down and uh, yeah I think it's, I think it's pretty fire Next with the highlighter again, and this is a smaller brush. This is my Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of my eyes, letting the paint kind of pick up the color a bit. And I'm gonna use my Coco Lashes in the Type Goddess and my Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. This mascara is mother loving intense, so, uh, and it was my one of my first times using it, I think, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on as close as I can to my lash line. Again, I did switch up a couple products from my Instagram picture just because um, I couldn't, find some of the stuff I used originally. So these are different lashes than I used in the Instagram picture, but I thought these were fire. So as I was looking, I noticed the red wasn't as popping as I would like it to be. So I took the brush with a tiny bit of the red paint again, and I pulled it up into my crease a little bit more. This will make my eyes look a little bit bigger and it just brings out the red a little bit more. I'm being super careful, giving it a nice finger blend so it's nice and smooth and soft. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pull that color up a little bit, fam. Yeah, now I'm exaggerating my eyelid space a little bit. See how basic it is on that side? So I'm just pulling it up a little bit more to exaggerate that color. If you're gonna wear red, might as well do it all the way up. So just above my crease and winging it out quite a bit more because I love a good cat eye shape. Yes. If you notice the way that I'm flipping my brush back and forth, when I'm laying it flat like a paddle, I'm more laying the product down. And when I'm turning it, turning it on its side and going half on my skin and half on the color, I'm kind of blending it out to buff it in. Next with my Bikini Babe Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick, I'm gonna put on just a slight amount First, just to buff it in. I don't want it to look too white or light. So, and once I've rubbed my lips together, I'm gonna add just a little bit more in the center so I can still get that color without it going too chalky and crazy on me. So that completes the look. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, it is kind of a throwback because I did a look like this three years ago, maybe when I started on Instagram. With same nude and everything, so it's fun to bring it all back. And thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. And love yourself and stay pretty. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.